So you want to build a real estate portfolio worth millions of dollars. Maybe you want to quit your W-2 job or you want additional income. What do all of those goals have in common? You need money to close on the real estate deals. That's the number one common denominator, money. Hey guys, this is Kate and Patel. This is going to be a five part video series and I'm going to show you step by step how to raise millions of dollars, how to raise capital to fund your real estate deals and grow your portfolio. I promise you, you're going to spend less than an hour watching and you're going to get so many powerful insights that I learned by raising over $10 million of capital in the last two years. And my goal is for you to take these insights, apply it into your business so you could have more and faster success. Learn from my mistakes. I already spend the time and energy to go through these hurdles. Why not take advantage of them? So here's the problem, guys. I know it feels daunting. You know, how do I talk to investors and how do I develop the brand and do I get the money before the deal, after the deal? What if my first deal fails and all this mumbo jumbo is going in the head? but I'm going to break it down for you guys into a step-by-step -step process so you don't have to do any figuring out. Capital raising is much easier than what you think if you have a system, if you have a blueprint to follow, which I'm going to give to you in this video series. So in the world of real estate, it's always about finding a deal, a profitable deal, whether it's a flip, a rental property, a multi-unit property, and then the second piece is the capital needed to close those deals. So in this series and this video, we are going to focus on that capital piece. Capital, that was the bottleneck. I was finding profitable deals, but how do I get the money to acquire deals? Let's face it, getting a $50,000, $100,000 check from your aunts and uncle is a good step, but it's not going to get you where you need to go. So when it comes to raising capital, there are four key reasons that we must understand before we begin on that journey. And let me dive into those reasons for you in this video. Reason number one, confidence. No confidence, no deals. It's very simple. You need confidence when you're out there hunting deals and when you're writing offers. Imagine when you already have investors lined up or soft commitments for your deals, how comfortable you would feel writing those offers versus you've written in an offer and you are wondering, man, if it gets accepted, I have 45 days, where would I get all that capital? That's not a good growth strategy. Give you a personal story. Years ago, I got an opportunity to partner up on a large multifamily building. This is when I was getting started and they needed a million dollars of minimum commitment from me, which was very big at that time. But since I had done the work of building the brand and talking with investors, I was confident to talk to my partners about the partnering terms, figuring out the legalities and looking into the deal and eventually push through it. Do the work upfront so that way you have some certainty and you had these conversations with your investors so you could have more confidence in closing these transactions. Reason number two, scaling your business. Capital is the number one bottleneck for real estate entrepreneurs to scale their business. If you already have a system and you're finding good deals or you have a plan, then the only thing remaining is capital to close on those deals. So if you have a database of investors ready, they know about your brand, you have talked about your deals and you have built a relationship, it allows you to close on more transactions it also allows you to close on bigger transactions, which means you could scale your business. And ultimately, you have a stream of capital coming in so you could plan the number of transactions and the kind of transactions you could do. Reason number three, more flexibility with your real estate business. Flexibility is the key to unlocking opportunities. In the world of real estate, strategies change, markets change, cycles change. And if you want to take advantage of all that, if you have already built a database of investors, you could use that to your advantage. Once you have done business with your investors, provided them with value and given them some returns in your deals, you could take that base and you could change the model of your business if it makes sense for you. So give you an example. Right now, 
you are doing a lot of smaller flips, you could get into smaller multifamily. Or you are doing multifamily developments, maybe you could look into mobile home park as your business grows along. So having a capital database in-house gives you that flexibility to change your business model. And reason number four, it's a business that will scale by itself. You can't keep growing your business all the time. At some point, your business has to start growing itself. So I'm very grateful for my investors. If you take care of your investors, if you educate them properly, provide them value, provide them good service, what's going to happen? They are going to bring you referrals. They are going to invest with you again. In a single year, I was able to raise $5 million of private equity without doing a lot of additional work. So that's the same thing that could happen to your business. Once you put these fundamentals into place, you could get a lot of repeat investments. And this means you could go out there, focus more on buying the deals. So these are the four key reasons to raise capital. I know now you're thinking, hey man, you've been drilling on these reasons. I got it. What do I need to do next? Well, the next thing is stay tuned. I'm going to have part number two, three, four, and five of this series. We are going to be releasing one video every week that are going to show you what steps you need to take. Part two of the series, I'm going to teach you how to build the brand, how to craft your personal story and brand story so you get an opportunity to build trust and expertise with your investors and fund your deals. See you next week.